Hi, this is Rob. This is an introduction to the TI Connect CE desktop software. How to download it and the basic features of the software. The main purpose to use the TI Connect software is because it has a TI Basic program editor where you can write programs for your calculator. You can connect the calculator to the desktop and load the program that you have written into your calculator. You can work with other files with your connected calculator and you can connect multiple calculators at the same time and transfer files between the calculators. Let's download the TI Connect CE software. Go to education.ti.com. Go over to the Downloads tab on the top left. In the drop down menu, click on the Apps, Software and Updates. Go to the right and click on Windows or Mac. I have Windows. Now there are two different software programs, TI Connect software and TI Connect CE software. To make sure you're downloading the correct software for your calculator, click on this red button here. This window pops up. If you have any of these calculators, you need to download the TI Connect software. If you have any of these calculators, you need to download the TI Connect CE software. I have a TI-84 Plus CE calculator, thus I will download the TI Connect CE software. I'm going to go over here and download the TI Connect software for Windows, the MSI extension. The MSI is an installer package and it will determine if I have an older version of the TI Connect software, which I do and it will replace it with this newer version. I'm going to click on the MSI version, then this window pops up. You do not need to have a TI account to download this software. You can continue as guest to download. Download and run the installer. Go through the installation process. It is simple and direct. Once you have the software downloaded and installed, open it up. Connect your calculator to your desktop using the USB cable that came with the calculator. The software will recognize the calculator and display it here. On the far left column, there are these three tabs. The first one is Screen Capture. Press this calculator icon here, and the software will take an image of what is on the screen of your connected calculator. Make sure that the calculator is turned on. You can save this image to a file on your desktop. I am going to delete it. This next tab is Calculator Explorer. You can have more than one calculator connected and transfer files between the calculators. So if one of your friends has a program on his calculator that you want to co a copy of it, you can connect both of your calculators and transfer the program from his calculator to your calculator. You can also upload one of the programs from your calculator to your desktop and then email it to one of your friends or receive a program from one of your friends through the email and use this software to upload the program to your calculator. Here is the program editor. With the program editor you can use TI Basic to program your own programs for your calculator. You can open an existing program that you've been working on or start a new program. I'm going to start a new program. On the left are all the commands with TI Basic. Let's do a simple program. A program that will calculate the distance between two points on a graph. We'll be working with the distance formula for this program. On the top where it says var name is where we name our program. The name of the program can be up to eight characters long. I will name this program Distance Between, D-I-S-T-B-T-W-N, which is eight characters. Here's the name of this file when we save this to the desktop. I'm going to save this as Distance Between Version 1. However, when we send this program to the calculator, it will be listed in the calculator as D-I-S-T-B-T-W-N. First line of the program, clear home. Find the commands on the left panel. 
I know this command is under program, then under input output. Clear home command will clear the home screen of the calculator when the program begins to run. So if you have any previous calculations on the calculator screen, this command will clear them off. Next line, hit the return key. We want to get input into our program, so look for the input command. Here it is, and double click it. Input, parentheses, enter x1, space, close parentheses, comma, e. With this line of code, the program will display enter x1 on the calculator screen, and the number we enter on the calculator will be stored in this variable e. For this calculator, variables can only be one character long. Otherwise, I would have named this variable x1. Make sure you do not leave a space between the comma here and this variable e. If you do, you will get a syntax error when you run this program. Also make sure you do not leave any spaces at the end of any command lines, or you'll get an error when you try to run the program on the calculator. Remember, two points on a graph have an x1, y1, and an x2, y2. So we need three more commands similar to this one. Now we need to enter the distance formula. Remember, the distance between two points is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, but our variables for x1, y1, x2, y2 are e, f, g, h. So our formula is going to look something like this in the program. So I'm going to go up and look for the square root command. Here it is. Double click it. Whenever you need to know how a command functions, you can go here to get some limited information. Just make sure you have that command highlighted here. So this syntax reference states the square root command takes the square root of a value that is between parentheses. So the distance formula using our variables will be the square root of g minus e squared plus h minus f squared. We'll need to enter that into our program editor. We need the square. It is up here. Double click on it. Plus h minus f squared. Now you want to store the result of that equation into a variable. The store command is here. It looks like this right arrow. Below in the syntax reference box, it says that the store command takes a value and, st and stores it into a variable. Double click on the store command. I'm going to choose a D for my variable, D for distance. Hit return to start a new line of code. I'm going to go down to the input output commands because we want to output our calculations. I'm going to choose display. Double click on it. Quotation marks and write the distance between. Close the quotation marks. Hit return for a new line. Double click on display again. Quotation marks. The two points is. Close quotation marks. When we use the display command with quotation marks, the program will display what is written between the quotation marks on the calculator screen. I broke it into two different lines because the calculator screen is not very wide. Hit the return to start a new line of code, double click on display again, and type D, our variable for the distance. The program is finished. One last thing to do before we send the program to the calculator. We need to highlight the whole program. Right click and hold the right click as we drag and cross the whole program. We're looking for any spaces at the end of each command line. If we have any spaces at the end of any command line, then we will get an error when we try to run the program on the calculator. I will type a space here at the end of this first input command and highlight the program again. You see this space at the end of the command line? We need to get rid of it. Okay, our program is good now. Let's save the program. I'm going to send the program to my connected calculator by clicking on this icon. 
The name of the program that will be displayed on the calculator is this name here, Distance Between. We're going to save it to RAM. There are two types of memory for this calculator, ROM and RAM. ROM is called Archive Memory on this calculator also. I store my programs in RAM. RAM is faster, but if your calculator ever crashes, you will lose all the programs that we stored in RAM. This has happened to me once before. But since I have all my programs saved on my desktop computer, it was easy to load up my programs into the calculator. Next, Designation Calculators. You have a choice to send the program to all connected calculators or to the check calculators below. Since I only have one calculator connected, I can choose either option. Next, I usually have this checked to replace this name program with any programs on my calculator that has the same name. Hit the Send button. And that is it. My calculator now has this program. Now let us go to the calculator and run this program. On the calculator, press the program button here. This screen pops up. On the top we have Execute, Edit, and New. Execute is to run the program. Edit is to edit programs, and New is to write a new program in the calculator. We're going to run our program Distance Between, which is number three on our list. So go down to number three and press the Enter key on the calculator. This screen pops up. It is the name of our program. To start running the program, we need to press the Enter key on the calculator again. The first input command is displayed. Enter X1. I'll enter a 5 and press the Enter key on the calculator. The next input command line appears. I'll enter a 4 and press the Enter key on the calculator. The next input command appears for the X coordinate of the second point on the line. I'll enter a negative 3. Remember, the negative sign is here at the bottom of the calculator. Do not use the minus key here or you will get an error when running the program. Press the Enter key on the calculator and I'll enter a 10 for the Y2. Press the Enter key on the calculator. Here is our answer. The distance between the two points is 10. When you see this done here, that means the program is finished. I can press the Enter key again on the calculator and the program will run again and go right into the first input command. That is how to program a TI Basic program on your desktop computer. Okay, that is it. Please support this channel by buying one of my Funny Math t-shirts from Amazon. The link is below in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.